Toen we hier vorig jaar rondliepen op Google I.O., toen zag je bijna geen mens met Google Glass. Misschien een handjevol Google medewerkers, maar die mochten er niet over praten. Nou, dit jaar is het echt compleet anders. Je ziet ze overal. Honderden mensen, misschien wel meer dan duizend mensen die nu Glass in hun handen hebben. Die er apps voor gaan ontwikkelen. En dat vindt Google ook heel erg belangrijk, want deze mensen moeten het gaan doen. Deze mensen moeten van Glass een succes gaan maken. En de grote vraag is dan ook natuurlijk, wat zijn deze mensen met Glass van plan? I had previously been thinking about writing two specific apps, like a car finder app sort of thing, to so remember your car's location, then navigate you to your car. Well, when and the other it. one? The other one is I want to do like a social network for just Glass users, so that they can meet up with each other. So it'll show you the closest Glass users, and then you can ask them permission for their exact location, and then navigate to them. For like cops, I think, like for facial recognition, for looking at a, at a license plate and being able to have all the information uh, real time as they're approaching people. You know, for me, it's the, the security part of it. It may sound a little creepy, but I think the security, uh, you know, recognition of face and, and data and getting that right away, um, you know, uh, in a display here is, is awesome. So I actually used to own a catering company. And so with Glass, my app that I'm thinking of developing and, and starting to code now is going to be around recipes. So my idea is going to be, you know, you have that list of information when you say, OK, Glass, and it scrolls down. I'd love to develop a cooking app where you can say, OK, Glass, I have. And as you open your refrigerator door, you list off ingredients as you're looking around. And then at the end of that, it does basically a cross-reference search and returns five recipes that you can make based on what's in your fridge. Uh, I'm a outdoorsy buff, so I am actually working on a fitness app uh, that basically allows um, the wearer to sort of go through a series of workouts um, without sort of distractions, right? So I'm basically feed them, feeding them timeline cards based on how many seconds is left for their current workout. I'm giving them, you know, a third, 15 to 30 second breather. While they're doing that, it's explaining the next workout coming up so they can actually go through a series of workouts. And that's the prototype that I got out the door right, right away. But what I would really love to do is using the GDK, sort of explore other possibilities like heart rate sensors so that when someone's running, uh, to be able to sort of send them you know, what their heart rate is. Or even um, features like, you know, you've ran the segment before a little faster, so that's your ghost in front of you, catch up. I got this idea that I'm actually working for a while now that is basically to have like an event site but actually more related to races and is planning of the races so basically what I'm trying to build is like the next event so I will know and I, will, I can receive notifications about where they are if they're running late if they're already in the area or even more if we are actually talking about a real race how far ahead are they from me or even what pace are they running or if they already passed me or if they are too back so let's see how it, that goes. And what's uh, the coolest thing you picked up or the thing you learned? Uh, the coolest thing is that they're opening up the, S they're doing a Glass SDK instead of just a REST API for Glass, which means that I can write cool Android apps for Glass, not just kind of small websites for Glass. The GDK, actually. So it's, it's going to be a very interesting dynamic where Google gave us a sandbox, the, um, the cloud-based RESTful concept of timeline. Mirror API. The mirror API. And, and now we are actually hopefully going to get, based on feedback, going to get access to more sensors. Um, and more interesting things then can happen. Uh, depending on how deep that rabbit hole goes, I think people are going to do some awesome stuff. Another thing that's super exciting is uh, the ability to hack you know, the openness of the device. So if I really wanted to go crazy, I could basically, you know, put my port my own OS, do anything that I wanted, put my sideload my own APK on there, 
and do something pretty innovative. And I'm not restricted uh, uh, to the Mirror API. You know, I think there's a very bad taste in a lot of people's mouths when it comes to support from Google with their products. You know, in the past, not having phone numbers to call when they launch new things, not having people to email directly, but, you know, the Glass program is a complete 180, and I think it's a great way for Google to test what support should be like in the future and implement that company-wide. So, you know, there's forums online. We can contact all the specific people on the team directly. You know, we introduce ourselves when you get on that forum, and it's a huge support community. You know, I, Google didn't have to release this to anyone, right? They could have kept this internal and three years later come out with a consumer product, but they wanted people to get involved, ideas to start flowing, everyone to collaborate. And I think, you know, honestly, with new products, that's, that's an amazing solution, and I think definitely something that will make Glass successful. The way Google talks about Glass, they see it as a product that can revolutionize the way we interact in societies. Do you agree with that, that view that Google has? Uh, I think it's got real potential. I think uh, you know, wearable computing has been something that's been elusive as, as a, something that really works at a consumer level for a long time, but I think Glass is really starting to move the right direction, particularly in the display technology. Uh, I'm not so sure yet that the interface is going to really be the critical thing, and I don't know if we really, it's way too early to know if the interface is right yet or not, but I think uh, the only way we'll learn is by trying it out. So the, the big deal is how it looks, right? I mean, a phone in your pocket is like, well, it's hidden, so it doesn't matter really how it looks, but if it's like strapped to your face, I think fashion might be overrules tech in some situations. So I don't know about the regular, like, you know, Joe Schmo consumer. Um, I think for businesses, it makes a lot of sense. There are a lot of use cases in businesses. Um, I think uh, unless they bring the price down <laughs> drastically, I don't think, uh, you know, people are just going to jump on it like, you know, the next iPhone. How do you view Glass as a product? Is it just another consumer electronics device? Or do you agree with Google's view that it's going to change the way people maybe view the world or interact with each other? Um, it's too early to predict and I really don't know. Um, but I think, you know, if Google continues on the path that it does, so, you know, imagine what happened with the iPhone. It's, it was very innovative at the time. And once that SDK came out, it just, hockey stick, skyrocketed. Google is actually taking that concept, in my opinion, and pre-buffering that, if lack of a better way to put that. Uh, and, and with that excitement, with the apps and, or glassware that is coming out, I think um, it, it sort of lives or dies in our hands. Als je hier op I.O. met die glasontwikkelaars praat, dan vallen een paar dingen op. Ten eerste is lang niet iedereen even ver met de ontwikkeling van zijn app. Sommige mensen hebben alleen nog maar een idee, sommige hebben een prototype en sommige hebben al een werkende app. Maar wat al die mensen wel gemeen hebben, is dat ze verschrikkelijk enthousiast zijn over de mogelijkheden. Nou, als ze dat enthousiasme nou vast kunnen houden en om kunnen zetten in innovatieve apps, dan zal Google Glass, als het volgend jaar uitkomt, zeker meer zijn dan slechts een apparaatje waar je af en toe een foto mee neemt.